Okay, doing one today. I got the uh, Drake L4B uh, warming up, but I'm going to unpower it. And real quick, when you turn on an amp like this with a uh, SSB CW, uh, when you turn it on, turn it on on the CW side, which would be the low side. On low, that CW does about um, 1900 volts. That meter's reading a little bit high. I got to calibrate it. And then we're going to switch it to high. Um, closer to 3000 volts but that's a little high I got to calibrate that meter but anyway when you turn them on um, an amplifier like this that has a high low with the voltage like that turn it on on the low side that way the uh, caps are not getting hit with the full charge that's like a poor man's way of doing a soft start a slow start you know turn it on on low and then if you want to go to high turn it on high after you um, you know, let it run for a bit on low. Don't have to be long. It doesn't take long for those char uh, caps to charge at all. But anyway, um, right now I know I got 2,000 volts on it. The um, thing is running. Uh, if I didn't have a voltmeter, what I use is I got my uh, flute meter there, but it only goes to 600 volts, that meter. But I use this um, voltage probe. This probe uh, goes to 6 kilovolts. And it divides the voltage uh, that it sees. It's got a resistor network in there by a thousand. So um, for every thousand volts this reads, it'll read one on the meter with that resistor network in there. And then, you know, it's got that long insulated tip, um, you know, six inches of insulation. So safety factor in my hand is safely back here. And the um, positive tipping point is there. And the ground is a jumper there. And you just unplug your meter and plug it into there. And we're going to carefully and safely back here, touch it to there. And you can see my meter is reading 1.9 volts. That's times a thousand. 1.9 volts times a thousand is 1.9 kilovolts, which is um, close to what that um, meter is reading there on the amplifier. Um, so anyway, I said I'm not going to be long. This one's powering it down. So what I do is um, I turn the amplifier off. And you can see the voltage dropping here. And if you don't have a meter uh, on the amplifier, again, you can get a high voltage probe and uh, your meter. And you can see the uh, meter dropping there. Uh, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, that's 700. 600 and study dropping and while it's doing that I'm gonna sit the camera down and unplug it uh, for a double safety thing because um, before I play with amps like this I make sure they're unplugged because even though I got it turned off uh, you know you can you can bump that and hit it and you got your fingers and hands in there you know you got it off so you're comfortable playing with it uh, what happens if it's plugged in and you bump that accidentally uh, and you turn it on? Zap, you're dead, right? Uh, <clears throat> so anyway, uh, we're waiting for the voltage to go down a little bit more. Uh, Going to put our probe on it. We're at 0.1. So that's a uh, 100 volt. And still going down 70, 60 volt and all that um one other thing i do uh for amps especially that don't have bleeders or have slow bleeders um especially sweet tube amps i don't do this on high voltage um amps but anyway sweet tube amps this is like a heavy duty bleeder jumper i made in there's a few uh resistors that make a high bleed and um don't and i connect that across to the high voltage so I could bleed caps that you know bleed too slow or don't want to bleed so I could play with it right so it bleeds it down pretty quick you know when I do that I wouldn't connect that thing or even get close if it was you know still at you know 2000 volts and all that and you can see um, at 0 .001 volt what would that be um, times a thousand one volt point one volt so anyway, I can safely do that. But another thing I do before I start playing in amps for safety and all that is trusty old screwdriver, right? Take that 
and put it to the high voltage and ground that out. I know a um, long time ago I was playing with a John Boy amp on um, location for a uh, buddy of mine and I didn't know a lot about the, uh, John Boy amps and um, you know I turned it off didn't have a void, uh, a voltmeter on it and I didn't check uh, the voltage either you know this was a long time ago um, you live and learn right and I let that thing uh, sit for 10 minutes to decharge the char de charge so the bleeders could hit it and then I turned around and, and, and started playing with it well actually I didn't play with it I was at least smart enough you know I thought it was bled and I got me a trusty screwdriver and I shorted it across you know like that and zap boy that thing hit and I'm like, you know, what happened? I waited long enough and I turned that thing over and the John Boy amp didn't have any bleeders in it whatsoever. So I do all that. I test it with my meter now, uh, make sure it's bled. And also after all this, before I put my fingers in it and play with it, I get a jumper just like this little jumper here and just grow across, you know, the high voltage, whether that's underneath or, you know, on top like here. That way, um, sometimes caps do some really funny things. They um, uh, a charge they self a little bit sometimes. So I put that jumper across, so ain't no uh, recharging on the caps. And in the end, another safety thing, you know, if it was plugged in, uh, I got that jumper across it. So, uh, you know, it's going to short if I accidentally turn it on. Uh, so just another safety thing that I do you know I got the jumper across it I've tested it I've discharged it so and I'm gonna leave that jumper on there as I go inside of it and play with this thing you know uh, just a high voltage for one and then after that I'm gonna put the um, parasitics back on the uh, tubes and uh, uh, power it up but anyway that's my uh, thoughts for today on um, safety and bleeders and uh, shorten out, make that sure that voltage in there ain't there, and then um, put a jumper across. All right, bye.